हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी पी आई टूटोरियल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कोर्ट फोर्स राउंड एट हंड्रेड फाइव विच इज डिव थ्री राउंड सो इट इज़ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग राउंड एंड वेरी गुड प्रॉब्लम्स हैज बिन आस्क सो इन दिस वीडियो वील डिस्कस प्रॉब्लम सी एंड टूडे द लैंग्वेज मोड विल बी इन इंग्लिश सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई विल लाइक टू टेल यू दैट दिस वीडियो इज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई न्यू टेन स्कूल विच प्रोवाइड अस Uh, full stack development course so you are from any background like arts streams or any stream uh, you can uh, learn from there and become software uh, full stack developer and uh, they also provide guaranteed placement uh, and you can you have to pay after placement so uh, must check the link it is given in the description box so we'll come to the problem uh, so train and queries along the railroad there are station index from 1 to n 1 to 10 so in this problem uh, please read the problem i am going to discuss like what is given in the problem so uh, there are stations which are index from uh, 1 to 10 to the power 9 right and express train always travels along a route consisting of n station index indices u1 u2 un so there is a express train given so express train follow path u1 u2 dot 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 un and its value lie from 1 to 10 to the power 9 the train travels along the route from left to right so it is given that the train start from u1 station and end up to un station so the, uh, it is start at station u1 then stops at station u2 then at u3 so it is like you know that if uh, train is stopping is at some station then it will stop and start from that then it will uh, stop at next station so this is simple train problem like how the train route follows uh, so it is possible that the train will visit same station more than once so in the real life we, all, we have also seen that sometime the train goes in this way then come back and then change its route so it is given that the train can change its route as well so it can come uh, forward or backward as well right so uh, there may be duplicates among the values u1 u2 un and what are the question given you are given k queries each uh, each consisting uh, two different integers aj and bj for each query determine whether it is possible to travel by train from station with index aj to station with index bj so let's say uh, it is given that uh, you will be given two integers that is number of the station numbering so let's say here it is 1 and it is 5 so you have to uh, tell that is the uh, can you travel from uh, station a to station b right so let's say there is index is given like root of the train given 371514 right and let's say we got the queries a1 equal to 3 and b1 equal to 5 so we we saw that 3 is present here and 5 is present here and it's from left to right right the train always travel from left to right it can be see the uh, duplication case is like uh, it's here like 1 5 1 so train goes from 1 to 5 then came from 5 to 1 so this is duplication case so uh, train always uh, travel from left to right and its path is given if it's come back then again it's added on uh, next integer uh, next array index right so we can see that uh, if a1 is 3 b1 equal to 5 then we have saw that this path is possible right so answer is yes A two equal to one, B two equal to seven. So, where is one? Right, and B two equal to seven. Is it possible to go from one to seven? So, it is not possible. Right, it is not possible to travel from station three to station ten. Station three is here. Station ten because station ten there is no route to station ten. So we. Uh, it is not part of the train route so answer is no right so now we will discuss the algorithm or the solution so let's say that we have path 
let's say one is present here and five is present here and we want to know that either one to five path is possible or not right so let's say we know the occurrence of one where it is present let's say its occurrence is two and five index is five occurrence is let's say seven so uh, if its occurrence right two is less than seven then answer is yes otherwise no right there is first case uh, there are observation observation one is like let's say uh, a or b ai or bi let's say ai or bi not present in not present in loop so what will be the answer answer will be no so if the path does not exist we cannot go from one uh, one station to other right so answer will be no right observation to let's say there is no repetition but what have happened if there was no repetition let's say so uh, consider that 1 2 5 7 there were no repetition then if we compare positions right there is something to do with the position as we know right because we are checking that uh, starting point is left of the end point right so then only path is possible so if there were no repetition right then we can check the positions either position of 1 less than position 7 right if this has occurred then answer will be yes otherwise no right but there is repetition this is final observation observe there is repetition let's say 1 3 5 7 and there exist one and we would want to check either there is path from 5 to 1 so there is path from 5 to 1 right this path and we want to check path from 1 to 7 so this path also exist as we can see that so the final observation from the final observation we can see that uh, we need to uh, if we know in that uh, in the train path we know let's say there is a station 1 and there is a station 1 so if we capture all the or we can mark all the index where one is present so let's say one is present at one position number 1 position 5 position 7 and let's say two is found at 3 and 9 right so if we ask if i ask is there any path from 1 to 2 1 to 2 right so there is path from 1 to 2 there is path from 1 to 2 there is path from 1 to 2 1 to 2 right there are four paths but if we know that if we take earliest one and latest two that one and nine see this is last last uh, index of 2 and this is first index of 1 so if there is path from 1 to 9 right from any other one then there must be path from this one first one to 9 right why because we can see that uh, it will go from 1 to 5 let's say then come back to 3 then come back to 9 so this will the path either we can check with this or this but uh, if we check with the smallest then uh, then we can uh, like uh, it will be easier to check from the first right we, uh, if let's say we maintain first and last value for uh, all the positions say all the station one let's say it is 1 and 7 if we had stored somewhere and two's position as 3 and 9 so if you wanted to check that th is there any path from 1 to 9 then we will compare first and last right and similarly here first and last so what will we do uh, we will have a map which is point to integer to vector int what this will tell this will tell station 
एंड स्टेशन टू इंडेक्स एट विच इट अकॉर्डिंग पाथ राइट सो डू यू नीड ऑल द इंडेक्सेज आई हैव सॉल्व लाइक आई हैड कोडेड यूजिंग ऑल द इंडेक्सेज बट बेटर सोल्यूशन विट विल वी ओनली स्टोर फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट इंडेक्स राइट एंड देन देन लेट से द वेक्टर सो लेट से पोजिशन वन इज टू एंड सेवन पोजिशन टू वी हैव गॉट फाइव एंड नाइन राइट एंड देन वी विल कंपेयर वी विल नो द इंडेक्स जीरो एंड वन देन इट विल बी इजियर टू आई हैव यूज अपर बाउंड इन माई सोल्यूशन बट इट विल बी बेटर टू यूज टू ऑनली स्टोर दिस टू वैल्यू फर्स्ट अक्रेंस ऑफ दिस स्टेशन फर्स्ट अक्रेंस ऑफ दिस स्टेशन एंड लास्ट अक्रेंस राइट देन हाउ विल यू स्टोर वी विल हैव मैप ऑफ वेक्टर दैट वॉज पॉइंटिंग राइट सो लेट से इन दिस एरे आई एम टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल थ्री सेवन वन फाइव वन फोर सो इट्स इंडेक्स इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स राइट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो वील वील इनिशियली हैव माइनस वन माइनस वन इन दैस टू लेट्स ए वन वन मैप वैल्यू लाइक दिस इज द वेक्टर रिलेटेड टू मैप माइनस वन माइनस वन एंड इफ वी गॉट वन देन राइट और यू कैन मेक इट एज मैक्सिमम राइट इन्फिनिटी एंड माइनस वन and if we get uh, one then what we'll do this will be the minimum of position comma uh, presence of this this value this index let's say map 1 0 right and what we'll do max of position map i 1 so we need to store max and min value so for minimum we have initialized with infinity so we'll get compare with infinity and get every time we will get minimum here we will get maximum right so finally it will uh, it will get updated with minimum and maximum let's say i will iterate on this example so presence uh, initially it was minus 1 minus sorry infinity minus 1 here it come position is 3 so uh, minimum of infinity comma 3 3 and maximum of uh, minus 1 comma 3 is 3 right next one will come by so we'll have minimum of 3 and 5 so that will be 3 and maximum of 3 and 5 that will be 5 uh, uh there you can ask question why we have taken infinity so let's say we are taking minimum so first occurrence let's say 3 occur so how can we uh, initialize it with 3 so i have taken infinity so that if you take minimum then we will get minimum right so in this way we can uh, we know the uh, first position of each station now now we will check uh, that uh, do root contains path right so better i uh, for the explanation uh, for the code explanation i better i will use my code to show you so it is little bit different that why what i had discuss so what i did mm, because it passed the time limit so i i push all the values all the index of that value so let's say we have pushed position right position of all the station in the uh, root right and then what i did uh, i took the input like for the query part Uh, i took the input and can see that if this is map there is function called count which will check either it is present in map or not so if root is not present then we will print no we cannot reach to that root uh, that station if uh, root to that station does not exist right and then we found lowest value so is lowest position i have found and i have checked that for b for b if 
in which position uh, array if we, we have checked that does it contain any element greater than age lowest position so this is if it uh, if if it does not contain uh, any such integer then answer will be no yes answer will be yes so uh, i think i have explained the uh, problem well so i hope that you have understand the problem so if you have any problem you can uh, uh, comment on the comment on the video and also uh, if you have liked the video please like like and subscribe to the channel like the video thank you very much bye bye see you in the next video thank you